I got nothing. Real Ghost Stories Online. EPP bonus episode number 44 coming at you this week from realghoststoriesonline.com. Get it by signing up at Real Ghost Stories Online. Click become an EPP. That means extra podcast person. A listener's graveyard shift job 30 years ago. Still leaves him questioning the events of that night. And... You know, as we discussed, if YouTube had existed back when this happened, everybody would know about this story. Yeah. Everybody would have seen the video. It'd be one of those, like, did you see that? Oh, my God. Did you? Oh, my God. <laughs> I just play it over and over and over. Also, a toddler gives a disturbing description of an entity he lovingly refers to as Purple Mommy. It's bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as bad as the train that ripped apart someone in the previous week's episode, yeah. but it's uh, something you probably don't want your, your toddler seeing when interacting with the undead in their crib. Right, exactly. So, that's putting it lightly. A home where a listener used to play has become his own now, but it holds an entity that isn't exactly happy about the purchase. Okay, this is one of our listeners that's written in a few times. Mm-hmm. I don't know what it's going to take for him to finally believe in the paranormal. <laughs> After this story, it's like, what else has to happen? I don't get it. He says he has more, so I'm, I'm interested to hear that, too. Plus, can a paranormal event be disguised as fate or coincidence? I think it can, but I think if you look in the right place, you can see that this story actually happened for a reason. And it doesn't really take a whole lot of digging either to kind of connect those dots. It's a really, it's a good, it's a heartwarming ghost story today on Lifetime. Not really, no, but yeah. it is heartwarming, kind of, sort of, it is. Anyway, get those stories and more. Become an EPP. Sign up on the web on the website at realghoststoriesonline.com and help keep our show on the air. And thank you.